back to Inside Eastern Utah. We are here now with David Wilkinson, and he is looking to maybe shake up and cause a little change in Castle Country, maybe look at some new opportunities, maybe some new avenues that might take our area kind of into the future a bit and uh, shake some things up. So thank you for joining us today, David. Thank you. We appreciate you taking some time, and you are here to talk about something that is actually coming up this Saturday. There is going to be a meeting, and you're kind of spearheading that. Do you want to tell us a bit about what this meeting is going to be? Sure. Thank you, Scotty. So the Independent American Party of Utah mm -hmm. is a political party that can ballot candidates mm -hmm. for political office, and the national chairman, Will Christensen, has asked if I would put together a small convention mm -hmm. type meeting so that we can gauge the interest in the community for a third party in our political base. The Independent American Party is a party that's based in finding solutions mm -hmm. and this meeting on Saturday that we'll be holding at the city council chambers and helper is designed to gauge the temperature mm -hmm. of the county and what their what their desire is as far as politics go and what kind of change we can find solutions for. Yes, so I love that this is starting off right with community input. I think that's really what you're looking to gain here is really a community-wide effort and community-wide input to these possible solutions and this meeting will hopefully get that for you. It, that's what we're hoping for. The, the, the community needs to mm -hmm. have a voice. They need mm -hmm. to feel like they're heard and I, I hope that this will help them do that. And some people just aren't so staunch Republican and Democrat. Mm -hmm. We'd like to give them an the option middle, to, maybe somewhere. to think for themselves mm -hmm. and, and be um, independent. Well, let's talk a bit about what, how you kind of got on this track. You, you have been a Carbon County resident for 14 years, and you have probably seen a lot of highs and lows, a lot of up and downs, a lot of changes throughout those times. Tell me a bit about what you've seen 14 years from now and what kind of led you on this path. Well, I came to Carbon County, and I didn't even know where Carbon County was. <laughs> and when, where did you come from? Well, I've, I've moved through many places in the mm -hmm. state. Immediately before Carbon County, I lived in Daggett County. Mm -hmm. And I, was, I came down here for a job. And Carbon County's been good to us. My family and I, before Carbon County, never lived anywhere longer than three or four mm -hmm. years. And we've, we've now been here 14 years. I've raised my entire family here. Mm -hmm. I've watched the, the economy change. Our economy held strong when others didn't. Mm -hmm. And now we're in a, in a circumstance where our economy seems to be floundering. I, th I think we have a lot of potential in our community. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have the ability to make some changes in the community and to support, support the history in the, in the coal and oil industries. Mm -hmm. But we need to bring something that will help support us. And I... I've watched as, as things have happened over the last few years with budgets and things and, and the communities the communities at their wits end, I think, and I think we need to to find something that gives us direction and, and keeps us strong. And I hope that by bringing in Will Christensen, mm -hmm. who's the national chairman for the Independent American Party, he can light a fire that, that will let people know there are options. Great. Well, I one question I have is with this, is this kind of looking on a county government scale? Are you guys looking at city government? What is kind of the focus for this party? What are you guys going to be zeroing in on to make some of those changes? Um, at, at this point, the, the focus is strictly do we have a desire? Do we have people mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. who think they have plausible solutions. I know, and I know we do, mm -hmm. but I want to make sure that those people have a voice, that they have a mm -hmm. place they feel comfortable coming to, to voice those opinions. 
and our focus right now is strictly to the people, yes. less the government, more the individuals in the mm -hmm. community who need a place to come and say, hey, I have a thought, I have a solution. Mm -hmm. We'd like to present that solution. And really, no ideas are off the table here. I mean, we, like you said, unfortunately, economically, things aren't quite where we'd want them to be. And really, at this point, we'll take any ideas people can throw at us. If it's a plausible solution, like you said, if it is something that is achievable and attainable and can make a difference in this community, you guys certainly want to hear out all of these ideas. Right, and we want people to come with not the same old complaints. Yes, not but, complaint uh, solutions. But the solutions mm -hmm. that will that will bring us forward, and and ultimately to show that there's there's more than what we have. Mm -hmm. There's thousands of tens of thousands of people in our community mm -hmm. who are good, honest citizens who just want to continue to live mm -hmm. the happy life we have in Carbon mm -hmm. County. But to do that, they have to have jobs, they have to have ways to pay those bills. And in the process, I'd, uh, politics plays a base in mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Of course. And so with this meeting on Saturday, what can people kind of expect format-wise? Is it a formal meeting? Is it more of a roundtable discussion? Or is it going to be separate little groups talking? How's it going to look? So the, the meeting, Will Christensen, the independent... Mm -hmm the national chair for the mm -hmm. party will be here and he will start the meeting um, with a brief discussion about um, the proper roles of government, mm -hmm. the way the independent American party thinks government ought to mm -hmm. be run and what we, what we believe in as far as the, the constitution and, and how those things need to be handled. Mm -hmm. But after that, we do intend to make it more of an open forum type meeting where we talk about what's needed in Carbon County mm -hmm. and test the temperature. If, if the community would like to see a third party, something that, would, that we could garner support for to potentially ballot candidates that might help keep us all mm -hmm. honest in the community. That's great. And this is going to be for a couple of hours, right? You guys are going to have a couple hour time frame and that people can come in, voice their opinions, learn more, of course. And then what kind of would happen from there? If people, if there's enough interest in the community, would there be further meetings for more ideas and possible candidacy discussions? How would that look after? So if there's enough interest, the, there's always a potential that we can create a county party mm -hmm. and that we can, we can elect a chairman of that party, somebody to, who knows Carbon County mm -hmm. who can be a part of that. But the potential is we can ballot candidates, we can work towards doing good for our community, mm -hmm. and it, it will all depend on who shows up. Of course. We're looking for we're looking for anybody to show up, but most importantly, we're not just looking for party specific things. The independent American party is a party mm -hmm. because it allows them to ballot candidates. But we don't we look for solutions. We don't care whether you're Republican or Democrat or independent, whatever party you may support, we'd like to have your solutions. We'd like to know so that the community has a forum that they can sit in and communicate in that doesn't have to be so politically driven. Of course, and I think that is important that you know that the national party is really kind of involved in this and they're really helping along in this effort and providing a lot of backing for, you, for this meeting and for hopefully the future of the party here locally. Right. And so the meeting is going to start at 10 a.m. It will kick off on Saturday, and you guys will start with a little bit of information, and then everything is planning on wrapping up around noon. Is that right? Yes, so February 3rd at 10 a.m. in the city council chambers, and we've scheduled the room uh, for a two-hour meeting from 10 to noon. Yes, and that's the helper council chambers, yes, right? Yes, they're adjacent to their civic auditorium great and if people want more information either beforehand or they can't make it to the meeting but they want to reach out with some ideas 
who should they reach out to and go about that? At this point, they're welcome to reach out to me. I, uh, I'll take calls. I'm not, I'm not the smartest guy out there. <laughs> I don't know all the answers. But you'll listen, right? But You're I, listening I'll, here. <laughs> I'll, I'll listen, and, and I hope that we can find some people that would have the means and the the demeanor mm -hmm. to run for office and to Great. help help bolster that change. And what is that phone number people can call? So my cell phone is 435-630-6228. Well, perfect. Is there anything else you need to let us know? Of course, just don't forget this Saturday. It's coming up quick, and if you can't make it, feel free to reach out to David. He's willing to take calls before and after, kind of gauge the gauge the playing field, I guess, of what everyone has to say. And be sure you come, even if you don't know if you have too many plausible solutions, there's still a lot of ideas to bounce off of each other and to learn as well from this. And, and at that meeting, I'll, I'll be providing an email address. But if people want to see what the party's about before they decide to show up, mm -hmm. the Independent American Party has a national and a state website that they can that they can visit that has the platforms um, they have a Facebook page you can find us on over a lot of the media aspects and their platform sim their platform is simple they are mm -hmm. the solution party yes a simple Google search and you'll be very knowledgeable come Saturday <laughs> that's right well thank you so much for taking a few minutes to let us know about this upcoming meeting and be sure if you are interested to be at the helper city council chambers this Saturday it starts at 10 o'clock and they're gonna wrap up around noon and everyone in the community is welcome to attend so thank you again David for joining us thank you Scott and thank you for joining another episode of inside Eastern Utah Stay tuned, we're going to have more of your favorite programming coming up on ETV Channel 10.